we're gonna use the booth for the first time. I'm pretty excited. We're gonna paint a uh, third gen Firebird. We're gonna paint um, quite a few just different pieces, doors, fender, bumper, hatch, things like that. And then uh, later next week, we're gonna paint the rest of the car. But this is going uh, four J7 magnetic gray. And then it's gonna get a flat black hockey stick on the side. Uh, so when we start painting, we're gonna seal in a lot of other videos for me using epoxy as a sealer. We're gonna use DP50 LV. Um, I like the LV better than the LF as a sealer. It lays out a little better. It's kind of more forgiving. Um, we're gonna use this as a sealer and we're gonna be using the uh, Techno Pro light with a 1.3. Um, I've got the Luma, Luma 3 light on there. Uh, that's gonna help a lot with metallics and when we get into spraying base coat is when we'll really start using this light. So these tack rags, when you take them out of the when you take them out of the package and they're all folded up, a lot of guys grab them and they'll just kind of bunch them up and, and call it good enough. But you get a lot more use out of them, and they work better if you actually open them all the way up. It's kind of a pain sometimes, but if you actually open them all the way up, they do work a lot better and last a lot longer because then you got a lot more surface area to work with. This is uh, magnetic gray. It's a pretty heavy, coarse metallic. Uh, 895 only in in metallics. We uh, what that's going to do is is that's going to stay wet longer. You need to you need that panel to stay wet longer so that those metallics have time to lay out before the uh, before that that film is dry. They need to have time to kind of float around and lay out. So 895. Uh, pretty much no matter what temperature it is, like I said, I don't really like to spray anything under maybe 65 degree panel temp, but with metallics, I will always use 895. So when I'm spraying those old parts like this, I've got air coming in there, going out there. I will always start spraying up there because by the time that old spray comes, it's going to land on some of these parts, but by the time I get it from there to here, it's going to turn it's going to be textured, it's going to, the base is going to lay out peely, and it could even affect your color with all the metallics lay out. So I'll always start in the front, because these panels will stay wet for a while, so any old spray that I get up there will float into the wet mat, and, and those metallics will lay out just the rest of the show. Sure. So now I've got three coats of base on. Uh, at this point, I like to shut the lights off and I'm gonna talk a little bit about something that I haven't really used in any videos yet, uh, the Luma light. This is, um, this is where, for me, this is where this product shines. 
uh, literally, is when I shut the lights off, a lot of times I'll shut the lights off to check color, check for modeling, check edges, things like that. And a lot of times I got a sun gun in one hand and a spray gun in the other, and sometimes I've got hanging parts that are swinging around. So this is uh, basically just makes all that one. You turn the lights on and you can see whatever you're spraying at. I can take and hold the wire with one hand if I'm spraying a mirror, and, and I have light and the gun. Depending on the temperature and airflow and all that. 